so I'm walking up to one of my favorite creeks and I'm going to get some water to sterilize to drink. Use my stereo pen. Oh, there's a little bit of skim lace on the water. It's flowing, but not a ton. Okay, I have arrived. Just gotta find a good spot. You have to be careful when going along the edges of rivers. muddy still. I think I'm gonna go up here and find a better bend in the river. Boy, that looks like a good spot right there. I didn't purify it. I can use my teeth to, or I mean, I didn't uh, um, sift out any of the debris, which is no big deal to me. So I'm just gonna turn this on. So what I'm doing is the UV light is, sorry, my thumb's in the way. The UV light is uh, killing off any of the bacteria and microorganisms. And I just wait till the UV light goes out. And I swirl it around as well. It's a great way to get water. So the only thing that really purifies water is boiling, but this is sterilizing, so that means it kills most things. Chances of getting sick from it are pretty limited, especially here in Alaska where a lot of it is snow melt. It's nicer to find a river with a better flow, but I'm thirsty. And it's snowing, you can melt snow too, but you have to make a fire. If you just eat snow, first of all, it actually makes you feel colder. 
and your body has to consume or metabolize more calories to do that than what you're gaining. So you're actually losing hydration. It's probably taking a little extra time. Oh, there it just went out. Did you see that? It just went out. I was going to say it was probably taking a little extra time because of all the debris in it. So there we go. Bon appetit. Mm. So it has a lot of more organisms in it because I didn't filter it. But it doesn't really bother me to not have it filtered. A little plant material, especially moss. We have over 250 varieties of moss. And moss are antibacterial. So and sometimes they have antiviral qualities. So there's nothing wrong with that.